Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ship at sea. It's I, the OG GM. It's 1130. It's the 26th day of May 2022. It's 60 degrees and hazy shades of winter here at Site B. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank each and every person who has uh, jumped on the OG GM bandwagons in the last couple of days. 713 subs, which is about 700 more than I ever thought I would get. So thank you very much. More importantly, my video about the dragons of Stormwick Isle and the kids from the cartoon has gotten 2,470 views and over 109 likes that, and 62 comments. Uh, that's just ridiculous. Uh, I mean, wow, I'm flabbergasted. Thank you very much. And most of the comments are relatively um, kind and nice and, you know, not calling me names or threatening to kill me like some people have done. Uh, and stuff in the past. So thank you very much. Uh, I, of all the videos I've ever done, I never thought this one would get this much attention. In fact, I thought this one would get no attention because I'm, you know, saying, oh no, they're not the kids, blah, blah, blah. And everybody else is like, yeah, they are the kids. And at this point, it's like, who cares? <sighs> I don't know. I, I guess I never realized how important it was because I guess I never realized how big the show was. You know, when you think 80s fantasy cartoons, you think He-Man. <laughs> you know, uh, this one was always like, uh, yeah, kind of, you know, I liked Venger, I liked Shadow Demon, uh, but mostly it was, I rarely ever watched it because there were better cartoons on, and even, you know, back then I was like, look, the guy could just send him home now, why is he doing this to these poor kids? They want to live in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. No, no, you do not. You know what they don't have in the world of Dungeons and Dragons? Soap. You know what they do have? Dysentery. <laughs> So thank you very much. So uh, let's take a moment to not talk about what we know and the kids and the show and whatever. Let's talk about what we don't know. Um, I don't know how interesting this is to anybody else. Um, so let's start with the original. Uh, the original Dungeons and Dragons box with Mines of Pendelver or whatever it's called. Fendelhaven. I don't know. I'm going to say it wrong, so just be okay with that. That is gone. Unless you're really, really lucky to find it on some shelf somewhere, you're, you're not going to be able to get that. But don't worry. Uh, the Adventure Minds of Fendelvin are still going to be available. It's automatically free if you have D&D Beyond or a Wizards account, uh, which I guess means that you can get the PDF from the Wizards account. I have to check. I'm sure it's still out there on like drive-through and other PDF places. I don't know how much it costs or if it's free on DMs Guild. I'm sure it's not going to cost a lot. So that one is is available, at least for now. Um, as of last press release, uh, Isle of Stormwreck, you know, for an island called Stormwreck, it's really way more popular than it should, should be because, you know, I would think ships would avoid an island called Stormwreck Islands. Like, look, it's obvious you're going to be in a storm and you're going to get wrecked on this island, so avoid it. Uh, Wizards of the Coast is saying this is the new starter for going forward with all the original, the, uh, starter D and D stuff, which I don't know what that means. How is this? Uh, but yeah. Uh, so mines is gone. Don't know what's happening with the middle one. Don't know what's happening with dragons of ice spire. Cause, uh, chronologically Wizards of the coast said the adventure in the second box was a sequel to the adventure in the first box. They haven't said anything about the adventure in the new box. I don't know if, the actual Dragons of Stormwick Isle is a continuation or if it's a new separate and, you know, then you would have to give us reasons to be on this island and dealing with dragons and stuff. And I don't know, that seems a lot of work for a starter adventure, but who doesn't like islands? So this is what we don't know. We don't know what they mean by this is the new core and we don't know what they mean in regards to what's going to happen with mines and ice spire mines is gone but you can get it for free still ice spire i don't know they haven't said anything about ice spire uh i'm gonna guess it's gonna go the way of mines it's gonna become increasingly difficult to find the actual set and as for the pdf it's probably gonna go rec increasingly down in price until eventually it's free and then i would say like a year from now i bet mines will be gone completely because wizards of the coast will go oh you already have it and I bet if we see Ice Bear go to D and D Beyond free, within a year it'll be gone too, because they're they 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 want this to be the new 
starter, core, everything begins here for new players, which I, I don't know what that means because you've already got it. How is that different than, the, are you changing the player's handbook? Well, we know you are. So, I mean, wouldn't the player's handbook be the new starter, you know, and this is just sort of the introductory, but I don't know. I don't know what Wizards means by this is the new starter, core, introductory, whatever, because uh, it's Wizards. And I don't know what they mean because it's what, 2000, we're halfway through 2002, it's pretty much June, which means we've got a year and change before 2024 where they're going to reset everything again anyways. So them saying this is the new start and we're not going to change things is sort of, I don't know, seems a little ridiculous for them to be saying that right now, right? Because we're looking at, what, a year and change before the anniversary and the I assume it's going to be a year-long thing for them because you know they're going to milk the hell out of that. And we know we're going to see new shit. They've said we're going to see new shit. They're not lying. I mean, they haven't said, oh, no, we're not going to. Like, oh, yeah, we're, we're, there will be new shit. We don't know what the new shit is. Uh, we don't know how it's going to be different other than this vaguely backwards compatible thing they've talked about. But uh, uh, even the backwards compatibility is already a little sus if you look at Mordekainen's and uh, whatever else just came out. Well, I guess it's just that's it. Mordekainen's and this. So uh, Mordekainen's is backwards compatible in that it killed the other two. <laughs> Those are gone, and like now everything is in this book, but it's not exactly the same that were in the other two books, and it still doesn't supplement the player's handbook. So, yeah, make of that what you will. Also, all the monsters in Mordekainen, none of them are from the actual player monster manual. They're all additional monsters. So, again, are we going to see a new player's handbook, monster manual, dungeon master's guide in 2024? Are we going to see a new introductory set in 2024, 2025 to milk the fact that this is the anniversary? Of course we are. It's Wizards of the Coast. There's no question we're not going to see a new thing. It, mul probably multiple things. So I don't know what they mean by saying this is it. We're starting here because in a year from now, we're going to be like, no, this is it. We're starting here. So that's what we don't know. Um so, yeah, this is I hope this is the last I talk about this, really, uh, in closing. Look, I, if you want the kids on the cover to be the kids from the cartoon, great. If it's canon in your mind, great. If you don't care what Wizards of the Coast or the creator of the show says or the copyright says, great. If, if you're going to continue arguing that it is the kids, you know, it's just more just why uh, all you're doing is drawing attention to the product and giving Wizards of the Coast free press, which I'm sure they appreciate. But more importantly, you're giving attention to the cartoon, which means hopefully people will now go out and enjoy the cartoon. So, yeah, say whatever you want because it's going to get more people watching what was, you know, a pretty cool cartoon for the time. So, in in, in the words of um, Uni, meh, meh. anyways, I'm the OG GM. I've got a headache, so that's it for today. If you appreciate this nonsense, let me know and please subscribe. Uh, and thank you again to the 2,470 people who really thought this video was worth watching. I still am in shock that this is the most popular video I've ever made. I never thought a video talking about kids on an island would be this popular. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I will see you sometime later. Now get off my island, you damn kids.